Hi, I'm Dave Rignari, and I have the great privilege of serving as Chief Executive Officer of Train Technologies. I'm here today to talk with you about how we can change the course of climate change through innovation. Our climate crisis is something that we must solve together through commitments like net zero carbon emissions by 2050. We cannot afford to downplay the urgency or pretend the problem isn't a problem. For those that don't know me, I want you to know I'm a very positive individual. To me, the glass is always half full. So I'm here to share some great news about how we can reduce carbon emissions right now, today, with existing technologies, even as we innovate for the future. At Train Technologies, we realized years ago that we had to take bold actions on climate change. We decided to reimagine the way our industry works by changing our industry, change the world. As a climate innovator in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning and refrigeration for homes, buildings, and transport, we knew that we could have a big impact on carbon emissions. How big? Well, considering about 15% of the world's carbon emission comes from heating and cooling buildings, and another 10% of emissions comes from food that's lost or wasted, that's a lot of carbon we can reduce. That's why we made it our company's purpose to challenge what's possible for a sustainable world. It's that purpose that drives our thousands of people around the world and our 2030 sustainability commitments, including our goal to cut our customers' emissions by one gigaton, or 2% of the world's annual emissions. As ambitious as these goals are, I'm confident that we could reach them. I'm confident because we're already accelerating progress through existing technologies like electrification, thermal storage, and connected solutions. For example, in Europe, we are helping large commercial and industrial buildings significantly reduce their energy use and emissions by combining heating and cooling into one system. This fully electric system recovers and repurposes heat and is 350% more efficient than most gas boilers. And when drawn from a green grid, this is a zero emission solution. Not far from COP26 talks in Glasgow, Scottish Water Horizons is using this technology to reduce their emissions by 380 metric tons annually and displace 140,000 liters of natural gas per year. And here's another great case, a Dutch data center we're working with that recovers their wasted heat and directs it to heat a local school. The closed loop system then returns the cool water back to the data center to offset its cooling load. And to top it off, the system that pumps the water is solar powered. We're also helping buildings apply technologies like thermal storage to reduce demand off the energy grid and active connected controls to create highly efficient smart buildings. Let me also point to a few real world stories where we're reducing emissions for refrigerated trucks and trailers while reducing food loss. Last year, we introduced a line of trailers called Advancer that reduces carbon emissions by 30%. And we're working with customers like Mercedes-Benz, which is installing our fully electric refrigerated solutions on its e-sprinter delivery vans. To accelerate solutions like these, we've committed to deliver fully electric products in every segment of our cold chain portfolio by 2023 in EMEA and 2025 in the Americas. We're always innovating at Train Technologies, but my point to you today is this, we don't have to wait for new innovations to start bending the curve on climate change. We can bend the curve now by adopting policies that encourage businesses and consumers to transition to sustainable technologies, collaborating closely with governments, industry, and NGOs to make these technologies affordable and accessible. And most importantly, not waiting. We need to act now and we need to act boldly. I hope you will join us. Thank you.